Hi everyone, Pam here from Creative Homescaping. Today I am going to show you how I am creating a neutral centerpiece for my bonus room. Made out of some fall florals that don't have the traditional reds, golds, oranges. They're a little more neutral and toned down because that's the style that I have in that room. So I hope you'll stay tuned. Today I am going to do something I've never done before and I'm going to attempt to make my own uh, table centerpiece without using any uh, greenery as a base. I showed you another video where I redecorated my Christmas greenery and used picks and that sort of thing to create the centerpiece, but this time I want my centerpiece to be uh, more neutral and more airy. This is going in my bonus room upstairs and I'm going to be having neutral color scheme for the fall. So I am going to take these hydrangeas that I showed you, I, and this pussy willow that I got from uh, Pier One. I had a haul video on those, which I'll link for you. And then I have these leaves here from Michael's, and I had originally seen Arlene of Arlene, Arlene's Country Craft Corner Haldies, and I thought they were just gorgeous. And then I have these brownish, uh, cattail looking spiky plants that I got from the Dollar Tree and I got two of those. I thought the color went, would go really well with the brownish burgundy color in the leaves here. So I'm going to use those and then I have some um, extra greenery left over from other projects that I might fill in with if it doesn't look like it's a full enough spray. But I'm hoping this will go well, so wish me luck. And stay tuned, I'll speed it up while I am in the process of trying to figure out how to put this all together. <clears throat> Excuse me. One thing I forgot to mention is I am planning on keeping it all together using these zip ties, nylon cable ties. These we just picked up at Home Depot. We use them around the house for various things. And then I also have these snippers and I also saw Arlen use these and they're actually sold in the pliers section of Home Depot, but they really are, they call them cutting pliers and they have a compound spring action. So it's a lot easier to cut through really thick wires. Although you do have to kind of score the really thick stems like this first. Um, so that you can cut through the actual wire part. I'm not sure if I'm going to be cutting any of these, but these work really well and the grips are cushioned. So I want to thank Garland for recommending these and I am now recommending them myself to all of you if you're looking for some snips. So now let's get started. So unfortunately, while I was filming the bulk of my putting together of the centerpiece, my camera storage became full and even though it showed it was still recording when it went to go save the video it would not save it so i wasn't able to show you most of the parts that i did but i am going to show you the finished product not sure i can get it all in the screen there you go you can see and i did not use any greenery as the basis for this i actually used the stem that I cut off because they were pretty thick. And then I, as you can see, I used a lot of zip ties to hold everything together as I went through the process. So the first thing I did was lay down the pussy, the pussy willow branches, and then I put some of the leaves underneath. I used some cattails that I had picked up from the Dollar Tree. And then I put some more of the leaves on top of those to give it some dimension. And then I added in the hydrangeas in the very middle. And then I put in some of the hydrangea leaves and those I just kind of tucked in there along with tucking in the uh, leaves in the center here to bring some of that color into the center of the arrangement. And so there it is. I'm very pleased with how this turned out because I've never tried anything like this before. If you like it, 
Please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below whether you think you'll try putting together something like this. I'm sorry I lost the other footage that would have showed you, but basically I just zip tied everything together. I, you could also use um, pipe cleaners if you wanted to, but the zip ties work really well and hold everything very tight without having to spend a lot of time twisting of the chenille stems. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button down below. I post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home, and I have quite a few in my fall decorating series that I think you will enjoy, both ones I've posted and other ones that will be coming up. So I hope you'll come back and watch again, and I look forward to seeing all of you next time. Bye-bye.